Hey everyone, Scott here. I've been a private label seller on Amazon since 2015. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a few unique ways to find products to target with your Amazon PPC. Product targeting is a fantastic way to put your ads in front of customers who are browsing similar or complementary products to yours on Amazon. But most Amazon sellers either don't do any product target campaigns with their PPC and only focus on the keyword targeting, or they simply just pick their top competitors to target. But the problem with that is those are usually the exact same ones that every other seller of their product tries to target as well. Well, which makes your PPC more expensive. So by finding other good products to target that all of your other competitors are also targeting, it can help you get more sales and hopefully at a lower cost because anyone who's been selling on Amazon for any time knows that PPC can really eat away your profit margins if not managed properly. So let's get right into it. And if you enjoy the content, be sure to give the video a like, it really helps out. And I'm always super appreciative of it. All right, so let's get into the first place we're going to look for unique products to target. What you wanna do is go to the Amazon homepage, and then you wanna click here on this little tab here that says new releases. This will take you to a list of Amazon's hot new releases. Amazon says these are their best selling new and future releases, and they update this hourly. These are newly launching products that are seeing good initial sales, and most likely they're doing some type of push to get those sales. It could be from Amazon PPC, or it could be from some outside traffic like Google Ads, influencers, Facebook, Instagram, etc. So what we wanna do is take advantage of their traffic that they're generating and hopefully get some of those sales over to our product. Another thing about this is since these are newer products, they don't have that many reviews. So hopefully if you have an established product on Amazon, you've at least built up some good reviews on your product. And since you have more social proof on your listing, that also helps you increase your chance of conversion. You can see here that these products only have 13 reviews, no reviews, 25 reviews with pretty bad reviews, only three reviews. Let's go down here, see these other ones. Yep, only one review, um, 16 reviews. So what we wanna do is go over here to these categories and pick out the category that is related to your product. Let's go ahead and say home and kitchen. This will give you a list to look through, but you can also narrow down even further, which I recommend doing. Let's say you have something here in kitchen dining, go ahead and select that one. And let's go ahead and say wine and accessories. And you can narrow it down even further, let's say uh, wine accessory sets. So what you wanna be looking for is products that are similar to yours. Those are products that are virtually like your product, meaning if someone is buying that product, they could potentially buy your product instead, or complementary products, which means that if someone is buying that product, they could also want to buy your product as well to use with it. So you can go through and find those products. I usually just open them up in a new tab Let's go ahead and click on this one here. And then what you do is you just grab the ASN, which can be found up here inside of the URL, or you can scroll down in the listing and find it under product information. You have the ASIN here, which is what you'll use to create your Amazon PPC campaigns. So let's get in the second place. We're gonna look for some products at Target. I'm back at that Amazon new releases main page. And if you go over here and look, you'll see another tab that says movers and shakers. Let's go ahead and look there. So what movers and shakers are is they're the biggest gainers in sales rank over the past 24 hours. This means they're having a big increase in sales. That could be from them, again, increasing uh, their PPC or other outside traffic to their listing, or it could be maybe they're a seasonal product and they're having a big increase in sales. But either way, again, it's the same concept that we're trying to take advantage of them pushing sales to their listing and hopefully siphon some of those sales over to our product. It works the same way where you can come over here and you can select your subcategory. Let's just go ahead and pick home and kitchen again. And you can scroll through and find some products that are either um, complementary to your product or similar to your product that you can advertise on. And the great thing about these lists is they're updated regularly, which means there's always gonna be new products to look at. So I recommend coming back occasionally, you know, it could be every week, every couple weeks, whatever you wanna do, and find some new potential product targets for your Amazon PPC. So let's get into this final way I'm gonna cover in this video to find unique products that target with your Amazon PPC, and that's to go to your competitor listings on Amazon, scroll down here and go to the frequently bought together. These are products that are often bought together on Amazon. Usually they're complementary products that go along with the main product. You can see here, if your product was an ice roller, customers on Amazon are also buying this gold eye mask for underneath the eyes, and they're also buying Mighty Patch acne patches. So those are two potential products that you have an ice roller that you might wanna target with your Amazon PPC for product targeting. Because someone is buying those products, they may also want to buy yours. These don't update as often as the prior lists that I showed you, but it's worth checking back at your competitors every once in a while, see if there's been any changes to their frequently bought together. 
And then once you have your list of ASINs that you want to use for product targeting, you can simply go to create a new PPC campaign, go to the sponsored products, then you'll fill out all the details like you normally would, but when you come to targeting, you'll select manual targeting, and then you wanna switch this to product targeting. And then you come down here and select individual products, and you wanna go ahead and enter list. And this is where you'll enter your ASINs. And for me personally, I like to change this to exact so that my PPC ads are only showing up on the products that I put into this list. And that's a quick overview of how to set up the product targeting. I have a lot of other videos that cover PPC if you wanna check those out in a little more detail. And that's all for this one. I hope you found it useful. PPC is getting more competitive and expensive, so getting creative with it can help. If you have any questions on what I went over, feel free to ask in the comments down below. I always do my best to answer questions. You can see that if you check out any of my other videos, even on the older videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and enjoy content on Amazon FBA, e-commerce, and entrepreneurship. There's a lot more videos coming that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one.